Hello everyone, my name is Cap and welcome back to the channel in another 7 days to die video We're doing all this in Alpha 19 and this is Experimental Build B154 Just in case they change things when it gets a little bit more stable Today we're going to be looking at light sources in the game to try and figure out in Alpha 19 which one is better They changed the way lighting is done in Alpha 19 and that it has a little bit more of what they call linear lighting So the lighting actually works differently than it did in previous versions now in my toolbar down there you can see I've got eight different kinds of lights. I'm basing this entirely just on the things that you can craft and or use like candle table lights, basic light bulbs, industrial lights, industrial light bulbs, lanterns, spotlights, torches, and regular candles. There are other lights that you can use if you go under your creative menu and you just start looking for lights. There's a ton of them in here, but I don't believe you can actually wire in any of those. They're more or less just for POI, basically, if you're trying to make your house look nice. So I'm only going to test the ones that you can use in-game to see which one works the best and pretty much just kind of see which is going to be the best option for lighting up your base. Now what I'm going to do is I have this set out here so it's like one, two, three, four, five. It's marked one, two, three, four, five. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to place each one on the top block of this particular column here so they're all in the exact same spot. And I'm going to use the lights command with it dark outside and we can see the ring of exactly how much light this puts off. That way you have a really good clear indicator as to what the best light source is. So let's get in there real quick and we'll start testing these lights out. All right, so the first thing we're going to test out on the list is the basic candle, which this little table candle you can make just by having a regular candle that you can find everywhere. Those kind of candles you can get with plant fiber and animal fat. They're pretty much the exact same candle. You pick one up and you can put it down, does the same thing. But I'm going to test both of them just for full due diligence. So we're going to do the regular candle first up at the top here. And you can see where the border is for the white here. It goes out one, two, three, four, about four and a half, almost to five blocks from its source here. So the standard candle, not super bright, pretty much average all around. Okay, so the next one we're testing out here is the basic light bulb. Now, once you place this one down, you can't pick it back up. All you can do is just turn it on and off, and it does require an electrical source. So I have a battery bank over here and just wired it in, and you can see it extends out to about 11 blocks because this one would be 10 from the very edge of that one. So obviously an electrical light is going to do a lot better than a basic candle. So the regular light bulbs that you can wire in that you can only turn on and off produce quite a bit of light. So that's how well that one does. Let's move on to the next light. All right, next up is the industrial light. And just like the basic light bulb, once you put it someplace, you can't actually pick it back up again and you have to have it wired in as well. But you can see it does a lot better than just the basic light bulb. It goes out to, well, let's just make sure we can count this right here. So we got 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So this particular light, the industrial light, extends out to 15 blocks away from the source here. So, so far, that is clearly the most potent light that you can actually make yourself. But we'll continue testing on the rest of them here. All right, next up on the list is the basic lantern. You can pick this one up and place it back down too. Uh, now, anytime you're using the lantern, trying to get it to go on this side instead of just floating there, sometimes you have to hold down the R button and choose on face to be able to put it on there. But you can see it extends quite a bit out too. It goes all the way out to 14 blocks. So it's just actually about 14 and a half. So it's only just barely, barely weaker than the industrial light that we just tested out. And lanterns you can find in places. You can make them pretty early on too. And sometimes if you find them in POIs, you can pick them up. So it is kind of an easier way to get to it than through some of the industrial lights or the regular light bulbs. All right, next light. All right, so the next one we're going to use is the trash can spotlight. This is clearly one of the more powerful ones you can get here, and this is definitely some sort of scrap together invention that you came up with here. But we can see it extends way out further than the rest of them when it is pointing straight out. So we're at 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 and a half. That's a pretty good estimate on that one. Now, what I will see real quick, just so we kind of know, is if you decide to try and aim this down, does it change the angle or how far out it goes? We'll have it point straight down and see if that changes at all. So with it pointing straight down, it's obviously it's a little bit more bright where, right where it's pointing, but the actual light source itself didn't really change. It still goes all the way out to the exact same here. It's just much brighter right here. So if you're gonna be in actual full darkness, of course you'll want to be able to point it out the direction you're looking because it'll light things up a little bit better than where you're you know, having it point off in the distance or whatever. But 
it doesn't change the distance on how much light source it puts out here. It's the same all the way around on all of these. So, so far the trash can light, the uh, mobile spotlight here is the best out of all of them. So that's definitely kind of cool. All right, let's test out the other two we have here. All right, so the next we're going to look at here is the basic torch. You start the game off with one of these. They're easy to find. They're easy to make. This is going to be the main light you're going to use early on in the game. But that has a caveat because it is one of the highest producers of in-game heat towards the heat map. So you deck your base out with one of these, and you're probably going to get a lot of screamers. And we can see out here with as far as light goes, it extends about to nine blocks, almost to the ten block range here. So it's not super duper far. But the fact that you get to start the game with one and they're so easy to find, you can't expect it to be too powerful. So let's move on to the basic regular candle now here. This one you can see works exactly like the last candle. Let me get that out of my hand so I mess it up here. Goes out to about four blocks, just almost right up to the five block line there. Works the exact same way as the regular candle does. It doesn't really do a whole lot. And these you can find in places because it's the exact same thing as just a regular candle. So it looks like the mobile spotlight is the most powerful of the lights you can get, followed by the industrial light. So if you're looking to really, really light up the entire outside of your base, trash can lights and industrial lights will light up the whole area way better than anything else would. And inside you could do things like lanterns or basic light bulbs and light it up without just completely blinding yourself. All right, that pretty much wraps it up. Hopefully this video was informational and useful and taught you about some of the new things that they put in the game with the new light mechanics since it did change from Alpha 18. And hopefully this got you some better information as to what you're going to need to be able to light up your base. Again, things like torches and campfires and burning barrels and stuff will bring in a lot more screamers than the electrical lighting will, but they are a lot easier to make. So hopefully this information will at least help you kind of figure out how to light your base up. If you found the video useful, do me a favor and leave a like on it. And if you're new here, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. In the meantime, you guys have a wonderful day, and I will talk to you later.